Keith Bennett was just 12 when he went missing on June the 16th, 1964. He was one of five children murdered by the sadistic serial killers Ian Brady and Myra Hindley. Extensive searches of the Saddleworth Moor in the Peak District revealed the body of the three other victims buried there, but Keith's body was never found. Author Russell Edwards is the one man who has kept up the search. He recently found what is believed to be the skull of a child aged around 12, just a few hundred yards from the site where the couple buried their other victims. I've been searching in total for seven years since September 2015. The way I went about finding this site it was obviously site visits, trying to get into the head of Ian Brady and the locations of the, the buried bodies that were discovered. Um, and really, the, the key to this was parking spaces. There's only one parking space where, where John was uh, buried, and there's only one parking space by Colin Brown Knoll where Pauline and Leslie were discovered. Three independent experts have now identified remains at the site as being human. Today, the mail can exclusively reveal that as a result of his work, police are now digging up the moor. Russell hopes his efforts will finally help bring closure for the victim's family. If this turns out to be Keith, this will be a great uh, relief for the family. They could, they could finally put Keith to rest uh, with his mum, Winnie, and uh, just the closure, the closure. And another significant point to, for me is defeating Ian Brady because he wanted to commit the perfect murder, which was to murder a 12 year old uh, that would never be discovered. So this will close the, the Moore's case and his, like, you know, whatever he's left in his, his, his wake is now over.